which things are not talked about enough in the electric skateboarding community. They can make a huge difference on your turning circle, your board, your stability, and it will actually completely change out how you ride and how your board feels. This is because your bushings are a very large contributing factor to how your board turns, how your board carves, which is very important to your ride feeling since carving is one of the best things that make up electric skateboarding and make it so fun and entertaining while riding. That's why in this video we are looking into bushings, how to find the best bushings for you and your board and what type of bushings are the best for your riding and your ride feel. First let's understand how bushings work. So here's your standard skateboard setup, it looks a little bit more different if you are riding double kingpin, basically just stacked. When you press down on the truck, it will turn, making that turning motion which will in turn make your trucks turn. A little confusing, but pretty basic if you can actually go out and look at your board, press down on the bushings and see how it feels and how it reacts to that turning response. Bushings almost act like a pie chart, you could either have agility or stability, you can switch it, get more agility. If you're using cheap bushings, you might actually get a broken, useless spot or where nothing is going into. So you're actually getting bad agility and bad stability. And this is commonly seen on cheap, like budget electric skateboards. While cutting down on price, they will also be cutting down on quality of bushings, making them out of bad materials, giving you a worse ride feel. Even on a lot higher end boards that focus more on specs and ride feeling, you may also be seeing really cheap bushings that are similar to the ones seen on $300 and $200 electric skateboards. These are Chinese factory made bushings made of the cheapest quality available and they will give your board the worst feeling that you can basically get. Even if you are using super high quality trucks and wheels, you will still be getting a bad feeling. Type bushings are my favorite bushings by far. They come in these great little boxes that have tons of different options for tons of different boards. They come in a ton of different duros, so depending on your weight or depending on your favorite riding style, if that's carving or if that's more stability and speed, you can really pick and play and select those different options to find what is best. Let's look at different bushing sizes and shapes. So you have your knob, cone, and fat knob. I like to use only knobs for my uh, carving setup. This is uh, color coded to Riptide's colors and for my carving setup I prefer to go for more like a combination of cone and knob to get a more carvy and smooth feeling. Depending on the color of bushings you use you will get a more carvy feeling. If you are a later rider I definitely wouldn't use anything above a purple or a 92A. It will just be a lot more difficult to turn your board. If you are a heavier rider, I wouldn't be using something like a white because you will be getting a lot of speed wobble and your board will generally be unstable. You should be going off a of weight as well as your personal preference to select which bushing is best for you and your use cases. What happens if you have traditional kingpin trucks like we're seeing on lots of boards nowadays that need this for more stability to quick speed. If you just find your bushing size, there are a ton of great options for your bushings to set up and it's really easy just find the length of your bushings. Uh, make sure you go for a harder duro meter if you are a quicker rider. If you also want something more carvy, you can go softer but you will have a less stable setup than before but you will be getting something closer to a double kingpin feel while still getting some more stability from the traditional kingpin. This is also what you have to do on budget boards since most of them will have traditional kingpin trucks since double kingpin is more expensive. So as long as you find your bushing length, then you can work off that. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out Riptide Bushings.